Oui. So yeah, we're back again, and we're finally going to move on a lot with the storyline. So let's get back to the Mimiga Town and see what became of the others. So we're weapons. That's right. The doctor wants to use the red flowers to make you attack the humans. Well, why does he want to do that? That man is, is like a demon. So it looks like Sue finally got King and Jack and all calmed down to the point where she can explain what every, what's happening to everything. And why the doctor is taking Mimigas and stuff like that. So she told them what he might do. Oh, look. Oh. They survived that horrible crash. That's amazing. And there's Sue. Oh! You're alright then. Well, more or less. Dot dot dot. Who's that, Mamiga? That's King. A friend of mine here in the village. There used to be tons of Amigas here. Nearly all of them, though, have been kidnapped by the doctor's goons. Even King has lost friends. And here I am. Hey guys. Thanks for your help. Our transportation didn't really survive, but something. I didn't catch that. Doctor's plans are proceeding exactly on schedule. If we don't do something soon, then the world will be destroyed. Welcome back! Looks like I owe you another one. With my brother's help, we should be able to get around the password for that egg. Booster! Can we take this little guy with us when we go? Professor. What? Sue, my dear. We have to suspend our escape. The doctor has located the red flowers. <gasps> what? While he has not yet acquired them, it is only a matter of time. The location is the sand zone. The flowers are apparently to be found somewhere in the sand zone. The sand zone? You mean that's where we'll find the doctor? Well, more likely one of his servants. If we don't destroy the flowers before they get their hands on them. However, the sand zone is exceedingly dangerous even supposing we made the trip. There's no guarantee that we would return alive. You're giving up? Actually, there's one of us who's perfect for this job. It's you, me. Why me? Who is he? In fact, this is one of the... I, I am a... I, yeah, I know I'm a robot. Ten years ago, wow. My impression was that they had been completely wiped out. But I do not know the particulars. It's entirely possible that one of them could have. Professor, I've connected to the sand zone. I see. You are the most suited to exploring this island. Please give us your aid. Well, it's not like I have anything better to do. So, looks like we're gonna go to another new area and this is actually when things start getting really good in the game. He's certainly well built. Why thank you. So I'm just gonna hop up here and save the game. So I don't have to read all that dialogue again. And now let's make our way to the sand zone. Ah, uh, yeah, I meant sand zone. Yes, I do. Alright guys, here we go. Hello! Oh! By the way, and hotspot people, does that face look familiar to you? 
Yeah, and you guys were wondering where I got my avatar from. Well, there's your answer. And we'll see more of her later. So... I just pretty much have to make my way up to the top. By the way, I love the music in this stage too. It's one of my favorite tracks in the game. Alright. It looks like there's a house over there. So let's... or a bar or something. So let's go check it out. No, oh, look! Mimiga's in that girl we saw. Ooh! We have a visitor! I know what it is you're looking for! But wake up! Mimiga's aren't your enemies! Mimiga's are harmless! Too bad for you, but... Oh shoot, she's got a gun. You're going down! Oh, I don't think so. Ooh, Mimiga's- oh, she's got a rapid fire weapon. If you get cut in that thing, your health will like, go down the drain. Oh, stop! You're in my way, little Mimiga people. Okay, you know what? There, that's much better. Don't hurt me, come on! I'm not trying to hurt the Amigas! We stop shooting at me! Thank you! Well, looks like I did hurt them. I can't fight anymore! I suppose you're going to kill all the Amigas? Just like the other robots? Of course not! You're with the Amigas too, that's what I've been trying to tell you, but you wouldn't listen. You just got all trigger happy and started trying to blow out my brains. Yep, that's Curly Brace. She was with these children, she doesn't have any memory, so she's an amnesiac just like me. It's probably a Amiga Butcher, just like the other robots. Oh wow, that polar star of yours is in awful shape. Do you want to trade for my machine gun? Okay, so this... Is what the first part of the game where you can upgrade your main weapon, which is the polar gun, the polar star. And if you trade it, you get her machine gun. But I don't want her machine gun. There's two other parts of the game that you can trade in the polar star to get a better weapon. And I'm actually going to get probably the best upgrade in this playthrough. So, thanks Curly, but no thanks. You can keep your, um, your machine gun. It's actually a pretty nice weapon. But I'm not going to use it. Alright, so I had to head across the sand. And oh, yeah, that puppy. But first, I'm going to make a little demonstration of the map system which I have neglected to use until now. So you see the on the screen there appears to be a hidden path. And so you just you can use the map system to find hidden paths in stages which I'm going to be needing uh pretty soon for one of the parts in this level. And, uh, you can... Oh, yeah, and I... What? Never mind. So, yeah. You can use the map system to find your way. And see little flashing white dots shows you where you're standing. So that helps you get your bearings. Though it kind of stinks that you can't leave it up while you're running. But whatever. Hey, puppy, let's go. Gonna take you back to your master. Cute little guy. Okay, see you, Curly. Bye, Mamigas. Take care. Don't get caught. Okay. Now on with the stage. 
So, yeah, about that weapon upgrade. Well, first look, this is where I'm supposed to go, but it won't open, so I have to go trigger something first. But yeah, um, what the machine gun would do, the machine gun has rapid fire. Like, kind of like the bubble gun, except it shoots straight like your Polar Star does. And, um, when it's upgraded to level 3, you can use it to hover around in the air. Like, if you shoot downward, it'll propel you up into the air. Which is kind of cool and pretty useful. But, you get rocket packs in this game, so... Eh. It's a nice weapon, but... I'm not gonna get it this time around. It's probably the weakest out of... Well, I don't remember if the snake is weaker than it or not. But yeah. Alright, now... This is the part you gotta be pretty careful on because if you step into the sand, those little things will come out and try to eat you. And if they catch you, they hurt. They hurt a lot, so don't get eaten by sand crocs and you'll be fine. This stage is when things start getting a little more difficult in the game, which is good. Alright, so yeah, it's time. I'm gonna stop here. Um, next time we'll go and continue our way down and try to figure out how to unlock that door. So until then, I'll see you guys later. See ya!